We're gonna have a wedding. Oh my god, look at Vlad. Look at Vlad in his tux. Oh my god, look at Caleb in his tux. Oh my god, look at everyone. Let's get this ceremony underway. Hey guys, I just quickly need to let you know that unfortunately when I recorded this video, there was an issue with my microphone that I didn't realize until after this video was recorded. So the sound of my voice is not as high quality as it would normally be. I apologize. I cannot refilm this episode and it's such a good episode too. So I apologize for how bad my voice sounds. I hope that you can make it through the video though because I really enjoyed the video. So I'm really sorry. Sometimes these things just happen. Hash Hashtag YouTube life. Hello YouTube, my name is Sezraw and welcome back to The Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge spin-off where I follow the lives of my kids from the 100 Baby Challenge. And in this 100 Baby Challenge spin-off, we're following through the lives of my triplets, Ariella, Dale and Chloe. Specifically Chloe, but Ariella and Dale are definitely along for the ride in this one. They've become a major part of this, which I wasn't expecting. Chloe's aspiration is to have a vampire family. So we moved the triplets into Forgotten hollow. Chloe started a relationship with Caleb Vitor because I actually misconstrued what the meaning of a vampire family was to begin with. He turned her into a vampire. She's now a fully fledged vampire and she as a part of her aspiration has to turn people into vampires. So in the last episode of the 100 Baby spin-off she turned her brother and sister Ariella and Dale into vampires. So we're just waiting for Ariella, Dale and Evie to turn into vampires so that she can train them. Also Caleb and Chloe are engaged to be married so in this episode of the 100 Baby spin-off, we're going to have a vampire wedding. I'm really excited for it. So without further ado, let's get into The Sims 4 and let's have a vampire wedding. So it's quarter to eight on Saturday night. We are probably going to have this vampire wedding tomorrow if all is going well. Ariella was the first person that Chloe turned. So she currently is appetite lost from slipping humanity. So becomes thirsty in question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm thinking it might be tomorrow that she becomes a vampire. So then Evie was next in line. She is at disgusted by food. So she's the step behind Ariella. And Dale was the most recent. He's only just beginning the process. So he's still at strangely hungry. So we've got these three different people at each different stage of transitioning into becoming vampires. So let's bring on tomorrow though. I might just speed through this night. We'll bring on tomorrow. We'll see how we're doing in the morning. See if we might be having a vampire wedding. 12 seconds later. <gasps> Ariella is transitioning into a vampire. Hell yes, my girl. Okay, let's see what her dark form's gonna look like. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna need to have a makeover for you, honey. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, would you look at that? Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good at all. We're gonna have to give you a makeover. We'll do that in the morning. Evie is down to appetite lost. She becomes thirsty in question mark, question mark, question mark. And Dale, he's still strangely hungry. So maybe sometime tomorrow for Evie as well. But there we go, Ariella. That's exciting. The next day. <gasps> Evie Delgado is transforming into a vampire. How? yes. Two out of three. Let's do it. Let's see what your dark form's going to be, Evie. Oh, did you see the bite marks on her neck? Wow. Oh, oh my God, Evie. Those red eyes are creeping me the hell out. Oh my God. So we've just got Dale that we're waiting on. He is down to disgusted by food, loses appetite. So we've still got like loses appetite and then he becomes a vampire. So it's still going to be a little while away for him, but I'm super excited for Evie and my girl Ariella. We might get their transformations done right now. So I'll be back once I've completed their transformations. We can go through their dark forms. Five minutes later. All right, you guys, here's Ariella's normal everyday form. Her dark form is a little bit scary, a little bit dark and spooky. So with Chloe's dark form, I wanted to go just like the complete opposite of her bright 
everyday normal form. And I wanted to do the same for Ariella, but with a twist because one of Ariella's traits is she's erratic. So specifically in the facial features, I wanted to give her these like scarring on her cheeks and her mouth, kind of make it look like cracked because she's erratic. She's not the perfect sim. So I wanted to give her them as a way to show that she is not a normal vampire, she's a bit erratic as well. So we've got some sunken eyes as well, beautiful makeup. And I went with purple eyes for her because she loves purple, purple hair and everything. So then her dress is this gorgeous gown by Sifix, black with this purple underneath the caping here. Absolutely stunning for Ariella's everyday dark form. Her formal dark form is this gorgeous Sifix gown. It's pentagram top and it's absolutely gorgeous in this purple for my Ariella. Her hot weather wear, I went with this again Sifix dress. It's super cute. Love it with these little boots to match. And then her cold weather form, we're back into what her everyday dark form is. So let's move on to Evie because I actually decided to give Evie a little makeover completely, like her normal form and her dark form completely made over because Evie was at a really sad point in her life when we came across her, when we brought her into the house. And this is going to be a new beginning for Evie. So this is Evie's normal everyday wear now. We've got this gorgeous paranormal stuff top. I love it. Super cute. She was wearing a crop top and jeans before, so I decided to just keep that going just with different style that looks so much cuter for her and this hairstyle so freaking cute for her and I chucked on the lashes that I use on all my girls because they're super cute. Her normal formal wear, it's just this dress she already had on, just chucked on some heels. Athletic wear, this is what I went for her. Sleepwear, cute dress. And then party wear, this really cute dress as well. A little bit boho looking, but I love it for Evie. Her swimwear, nice and bright and beautiful. Hot weather wear, went with this gorgeous outfit. And cold weather wear, went with this outfit, which is really interesting. I really like it. It is Realm of Magic, really cool, really interesting. I'd love to use this in the 100 Baby Challenge for cold weather wear eventually. So that's Evie's normal form. Her dark form is incredible. Hello, Evie. Completely different woman here staring at us right now. And this dress again is a Sifix dress. Absolutely divine. She looks incredible with some eye makeup on as well. We've got a little bit of sunken eyes. That's all I did for the vampire archetypes for Evie. But the makeup and everything, she is absolutely stunning. I love her to pieces. So then her formal dark form, we've got this dress, which is just so perfect. It's a recolor of a base game dress. I'll try to link the recolor in the description down below because it's absolutely gorgeous. So then her hot weather wear, we went with this dress again by Sifix, trying to mix in some of the color super cute and then her cold weather wear this is what i went for it another dress by sifix absolutely stunning so that's ariella and evie now vampires that is incredible i love them so much queens now that we've had ariella and evie become vampires i'm having a look at the day the forecast for the day it's partly cloudy with a chance of snow that's really cold, but I'm thinking that I would probably want to have the vampire wedding at night anyway, because they're all vampires except for Dale. Dale's the only one who's not a vampire. I think it will be tonight that we have the vampire wedding. So I'm going to spend the day now that we've got some vampires in the house, getting Chloe to train some people, train some vampires. You can offer vampiric training to Ariella because that is a part of Chloe's aspiration is to train three of her offspring. So we can do that that for two of them now that's great and as for evie i mean she's got to have some plasma we got to get some plasma packs for her but she's going to get started on reading the vampire tomes ariella and caleb have been all day so that's good so yeah it's just going to be doing some basic stuff i'm really intrigued to see the training that chloe can give ariella okay vampire training is underway for ariella <laughs> Oh, oh didn't, do, didn't do much for it. Okay, no worries. It's fine. It's fine. It's only the beginning of training. You're teaching. It's good. It's fine. There we go. Doing it again. Give it another try. Oh, you're showing up. 
Ariel's not quite grasping it. That's fine. Chloe needs to wait before she can mentor another sim. That's fine. Well, it apparently is going to take a little bit longer for this than I thought. I would have thought that that would have counted as one, but it didn't. So maybe if Ariel is able to learn something from Chloe, like it seemed like Ariel was struggling to learn what Chloe was teaching her. So maybe when she's able to successfully learn something that Chloe is teaching her, maybe then it'll be counted as train one of your offspring. So I can't believe how amazing amazing Evie looks now like it's such a simple change that I made it really just was her hair and her putting those lashes on and changing her clothes but she's a completely different person I absolutely adore her Later. all right it's 5 30 at night it's not night time yet though but we are gonna make some preparations so I'm assuming that like a normal wedding we're gonna need a cake and things like that so I'm gonna get Chloe to bake a cake. Caleb's made friends with Evie so he's now got four out of five friends. I need to find out who it is that he's not friends with but that's really good. So we're on the way to getting his aspiration done as well. Dale's having a nap. Ariella's having a little sleep upstairs but my queen who's gonna be a bride today I'm really excited. I love that you can see like her little fangs in the little portrait. They're super cute. <laughs> Alrighty, the time has come. I'm so excited. Let's plan a social event. Chloe, let's do it. Oh my God. We're going to have a wedding. It's going to be bride and groom. I mean, that's going to be Chloe and Caleb, obviously. We're going to be inviting Ariella Dale. Lilith and Evie to the wedding. Should we invite Vlad? Maybe we should invite Vlad as well. We'll invite Vlad. He seemed to be on better terms with us when he said that welcome to the family. I don't know. So let's invite Vlad as well. Uh, we're not going to need caterer or mixologist or musician. Where are we going to have this wedding? Oh, that's a tough question. Yeah, Santa Park, my Shuno Meadows. There is already an archway there. I think I'd like to have it here. Let's go and have a wedding. I put the cake in Chloe's inventory, so that should be fine. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh. All right. So, oh my god, here we all are. No, no, no. Things are going to need to change, though. Oh my god, look at Vlad. Look at Vlad in his tux. Oh my god, look at Caleb in his tux. Oh my god, look at everyone. But my Chloe is not quite right. So I did want to put her into a special wedding dress. I did want to make her up a little bit. So let's do what I want to do for her. A few moments later. Are you guys ready to see what Chloe's wedding outfit is going to be? I don't think you are because it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is what I've decided to go for. Now, very unconventional because wedding dresses are usually white. Usually, they don't have to be, but they're usually white. But this is not a normal wedding. It's a vampire wedding. So I decided to go with this absolutely gorgeous dress by Sifix. Stunning. I love it. So this is going to be Chloe's wedding outfit. I love the hairstyle as well. We can now get this wedding underway. Oh my god, yes. Hello Lilith, by the way, as well. Oh my god, she's stunning. So, now I need to have a look at this place because I'm probably going to want it to be a little bit more lit up than what it is because it is a nighttime wedding. We're going to need some more lights, people. Let's get some more lights in this place. Thank you very much. Let's get this ceremony underway. I am so ridiculously excited. Let's get everyone over. Oh, I love it. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Oh my god, I can't deal. Let's get married. Oh my god. <gasps> Oh, it's not quite bright enough. I need it to be a little bit brighter. Oh my god, I can't. This is amazing. I love it. Oh. Chloe and Caleb. Here we go. Oh, this is so precious. And the ring on Caleb's finger. There we go. Oh, yay. Oh, my God. Yay. Oh, congratulations to the absolutely gorgeous and happy couple. Oh, my God. I love you guys. Both of them are going to light fireworks, which is such a cute little idea. 
We've got fireworks already going off in the sky because they got married. Oh my god, I love this as a wedding venue. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, Ariella has just taken her clothes off and is showering naked in the rain. Oh my god, Ariella, not a good impression to make with Vlad right there. He's like, what is this woman doing? Why is she showering naked? Oh my God, Ariella, you are erratic. <laughs> we love an erratic queen. We got a cake to cut. It's gonna be great. Oh my God, look at their gorgeous couple. Oh, they're just stunning. I love them. Oh my God, I love them so much. And there's the wedding topper on the cake. And let's cut the cake, you guys. Oh, that was like, nothing i was hoping that they would cut the cake together anyway that's fine no worries oh stop that was the cutest little thing ever i love it i haven't had a wedding in so long that i forgot what's actually involved with weddings now i know that the vampires don't generally eat but i'm gonna make them eat i want to see what happens if they do eat and it's a wedding you gotta have cake <laughs> My gorgeous Chloe Queen, look at you. Oh, she's stunning. And they're such a cute couple. Oh my God, I'm just filled with love for them right now. I mean, none of them are having like an adverse reaction to eating the cake considering they're vampires. I mean, Dale's the only one that's having an adverse reaction, but that's because his appetite lost, he becomes thirsty in question mark, question mark, question mark, which is so exciting. Oh my God. All right, you guys, I think the wedding is over. That was so gorgeous. I'm so happy they're finally married. I just cannot stop looking at Chloe. Like even with this crazy look on her face, she's absolutely stunning. And Caleb is such a handsome groom as well. I love them so much. You guys, that's all I've got for this episode of the 100 Baby spin-off. That was such a beautiful wedding. I forgot how beautiful weddings are. And that dress to die for. This was a good episode though. We had Ariella and Evie trim transform into vampires. Dale's getting really close. So in the next episode, we'll get right back into Chloe's aspiration training, all three of them and getting to the next level of what her aspiration is going to be. I'm really excited and I'm really enjoying this playthrough. I hope you guys are enjoying watching it as well. But if you would like to see more of me and more of my 100 baby spinoff or my 100 baby challenge, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell next to it to be notified of every time that I upload. And if you liked this video, let me know by hitting the like button down below and leave me a comment as well. Let me know what you thought of Chloe's vampire wedding. But guys, I hope you're having the greatest day ever and I will see you in the next video. Bye!